name is Steve Schmeller. Um, welcome to my studio. This is where I spend all my time. Um, so sometimes I paint for 60 or 70 hours a week. Uh, my main mode of thought, I think, around uh, what drives my art process is trying to go as far as possible in expressing what is important to me um, in my own personal visions of, of you know, the, the scenes that I have uh, kind of floating around in my head and trying to bring them into physical reality. Um, so when I create a scene that doesn't exist or there, there are elements in it um, that don't exist in the real world, um, I need to create something that will show me as much information as possible so that I can uh, use that information to paint something that is a believable, realistic scene. Um, so I work in a similar way that a lot of uh, realists or surrealists or uh, magic realists have worked for the last number of years. Um, however, my intention is a bit different. I, I do like to uh, tend towards um, psychological themes rather than uh, themes that come from uh, a, a fiction novel or something like that. Um, so all of these thoughts and ideas that I have, um, these feelings of these, these scenes that I have, um, get worked on for sometimes uh, a week to, to maybe three weeks of uh, full-time hours into sketching, model building, uh, photo shoots with people. Um, and then that is all combined to create a, a reference that I can use for painting. So this is my current work in progress. Um, this is not finished, as I, as I mentioned, so there's quite a few areas that are still going to be painted. One area of the painting might take um, an entire 10-hour day of painting, and it might just be this one little spot. I feel like it's a, it's a constant problem-solving process. It's just, you know, right from the very beginning of the process, when it's just a blank board, it's a massive problem because it looks nothing like what it will. So I'm constantly, uh, you know, troubleshooting as I go. I don't think we're ever done learning. There's just so much to, to light. It's just so infinite to be able to really predict and understand what light will invent, will do so that we can invent light as well. Um, so by learning from it, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm able to play with light. And uh, all of those things together make, um, make for a, a better informed painting process when it comes to realism. And then in the painting process itself, I'm also making a lot of changes and redesigning um, all of the elements um, in the painting so that it, is, it isn't just a copy of a, of a photographic reference. Um, when I do that, I, I feel like I have a relationship to the surface of the painting that becomes almost sacred, so that the, the painting itself uh, really feels like, um, like a sacred surface. It feels like, uh, you know, it suddenly becomes another world, rather than just being a piece of aluminum or a piece of wood.